So today I was trying to speech up. He did it again. He got loose. All right. So, yep, I got loose. I picked up the 1923 tea bucket. Of course, it's fiberglass. It's got a 350 turbo 350 transmission. Four wheel disc brakes. And uh, a spacious interior. Get you in there. Look at that. Don't be jealous, you Lincoln owners. Wait, Cadillac. Nothing's a Lincoln of anything. We're calling it <laughs> food stamps right now because it's a non authorized purchase. Foreman might be um, already on our way to buy a for sale sign. So uh, we're going to give it this health checkup. We'll be right back. So now that we're just got the camera all ready, we uh, um, are just doing basically health checkup on it. And um, I put my dad in, or job assistant in timeout so he's doing all the work. So let's get to the checking. What do you want me to do first? Spark plugs, most likely. You want me to pull the plug? Okay. Yeah. So he has a what wrench? It's a 3 8 ratchet and a 5 8 spark plug socket. With an extension. Do you need the pliers at all that I have? The... I got my pliers right here. Okay. Not for sale anywhere else. Well, they all, everybody has it, so. Oh, this is broken. <laughs> These are in here. Oh, mama. Yep. Wow, this thing's running pretty good. Nice tan color, look at that. Ooh, hey, go over here, go up there. <laughs> nice tan color, look at that. Well, so one spark plug checks out. Hopefully the rest are the same. Yeah. Let me put it back together here. Kinda need that put together because they won't run without it. I can get it run on seven. You can? Wait. It's gonna talk nice. Oh. Okay, what's next? Oh, um, probably should check the cap right there. If you can. They can't see it, but. Well, there's a little vacuum plug port cap that. I didn't. I thought there was gonna be amber rolling out. Not with the carburetor. Actually, okay. it's in fine shape. Oh, I thought. It's it was... just dis it's just distorted a oh. little bit from the heat. All right. Everything looks good. There's no leaks on the carburetor. I'm gonna check the belt because it's over here on this side. So it actually looks brand new because it's not cracked. It's not slippery. It's pretty firm too. So we're good on that. What are we doing next? Um, will you check the f fuel filter? The fuel filter, it's okay, but we should change it. Yeah, and I noticed something on it too. It didn't slip that all the way on there, so probably should do that too. It's a good thing that we'll do that when we change it. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. We probably should check the oil and other stuff that the dipstick is on. Check the oil. I just ran this not that long ago, so. Oh, and I lost it now. It was... Anybody find the dipstick? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it was like. Right here. It wasn't where it was supposed to be. Over uh, there. Yeah. We are full. That's good. So I'd say we're all right. And then the other dipstick, which is transmission fluid. Oh, she looks like she's okay. Oh. Dipstick. Okay. Oh. Well, we can't really check to see if it's full or not. We can tell if there's fluid. Oh my gosh, it goes on for a month. Yep. There's fluid in it. Let me show them the, look how long that is. It's right up against the firewall. That, that's a long dipstick right there. What's next? Um, the wires of the spark plug. Okay, well I'll check this side. I'll check this side. These all look pretty new. 
same over here. They don't look cracked. They don't look too weathered. They look just fine. And the uh, the starter down here, the wires are all brand new. Nothing's loose, and the fuel pump is not leaking at all, and neither is the water pump. Oh, and or radiator. Holder. I just noticed something right here. There's leaking right there in there. What do we got? Oh, oil. A little bit of oil. So we should. And, uh, Two of the valleys here. So we, we should probably check the other and side. And two here. I bet we've got some loose bolts. Um, intake bolts. So we better tighten that up. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was somewhere over here that was leaking. No, it was over here. Is it back there? Yeah, it's right here. I was thinking it was over there, but it's over here. So we got leaking over here too. It looks like it's a valve cover gasket. Yeah. Good thing I have some in the. Uh, Pile of parts there. Should I get the big one? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or it's just grease or something. I don't know. Oh, it has this. We all know how much these are loved around here. This would have been three cars that had these things. Why? I kind of like it on them. I like the black one. At least it's not chrome. Well, chrome don't get you home. Exactly. How does the alternator look? It's down on that side. Alternator is the... Yep, it's right there. Alright. Alternator looks good. Oh, piece of grass in there. You need that. You do? <laughs> That's where you keep your stuff. <laughs> I'm going to just throw it away. That one was far for right now. <laughs> um, okay. Doesn't look like it's broken or anything. It looks, looks like, like it's, it's pretty fine. shiny, pretty new. Yeah, everything looks pretty new. The radiator overflows right here. It's also not leaking. Looks like it's new. The radiator cap isn't leaking. And we should probably put a Yep, we'll put a clamp right on there. there on the overflow tube. Just in case. Yeah, just in case it shoots off. You we know? got an aluminum radiator. So that's... Yeah. Water pump, like I said, not leaking at all. Um... Let's go take a look at the gas tank. All right, so this way you can get a better look. You know what I found? All of my cars, yeah, I'll claim that one. All of my cars have the same wheels. If you heard the other noise, it was the snowblower getting in the way. Apparently we're having snowmageddon. By the way, I also can turn a two car garage into a three car garage. Nobody thought I could. As you can see. The girls owe me five bucks each. Let's check the uh, gas tank. That looks safe. That totally looks safe. But here, looks like we need plenty of gas. But we need it. But it looks like we have like at least, I don't know. Looks like a quarter of a tank. Yeah. But we still need some. So. Not today. Not today. Because we're not going to, we're not going to drive around. Somebody did. You are. I already did me. it. Checkup done. Now we know what to do. And if or now that we got three cars in here, uh, someone's got to go. Um, and if you have a suggestion or anything for a different name, uh, for instead of food stamps for this guy, um, please put it down in the comments. But stay away from um things like wh who's Wayne Reynolds. That is just inappropriate and offensive. So let's try to stay away from those inappropriate and offensive names. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep on mentioning. Have a great day.